All right, Brother Simon's 99th article, Secrets. In these dark times, it's nice to be reminded that Paul, the apostle of the nations, gave us some really great secrets that still remain secrets from the vast majority of mankind, but they are secrets no more to us. The body of Christ, also known as believers, are more united thanks to the grace of God. Before we get to one of these amazing secrets, let's, f let's first take a look at the word secret. The Greek word for secret. Mysterion. It's transliterated. Mysterion. Mysterion and Strong's Concordance defines the word as a mystery or a secret doctrine. The Greek English keyword concordance of the concordant literal New Testament gives the English elements as close keep and defines the word thusly a secret that which was once kept closed and withheld but now is revealed. So which of the secrets that was given to Paul by the roused and glorified Christ Jesus am I going to touch on? Well, a secret to you, I am I telling, we all indeed shall not be put to repose, yet we all shall be changed in an instant in the twinkle of an eye. The last trumpet, for he will be trumpeting, and the dead will be roused and corruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corrupt, corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal put on immortality. 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 53. We all indeed shall not put, be put to repose. Paul was telling us that there is a generation of believers who will not die. This is just one of our expectations, and this astounding news was cut closed out from mankind until Paul's letter to those in Corinthian. I believe that's Corinthians. Paul doubles down on this amazing news and Thessalonians. Thessalonians, for if we are believing that Jesus died and rose, thus also those who are put to repose will God through Jesus lead forth together with him. For this we are saying to you by the word of the Lord that we, the living who are surviving to the presence of the Lord, should be should by no means outstrip those who are put to repose, for the Lord himself will be descending from heaven with a shout of command, with the voice of the chief messenger, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall be rising first, thereupon we the living who are surviving shall at the same time be snatched away together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus shall we always be together with the Lord. First. Thessalonians. Thessalonians 4, 14 through 17. We, the living who are surviving, shall at the same time be snatched away together with the dead in Christ and clouds to meet the Lord of the air. Let me repeat, we, the surviving who are surviving, back to 1 Corinthians, we all indeed shall not be put to repose. Mr. and Mrs. Born again called the snatching away the rapture. This is scripturally unsound. The word rapture doesn't appear in the Greek scriptures, not once. And another thing, the snatching away isn't for Mr. and Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Born again. It is solely for those who God chose in Christ before the disruption of the world. Ephesians 1, 4, to believe Paul's evangel, well message or good message. Just in case you weren't sure what Paul's evangel is, let me remind you, for I give over to you among the first what also I accepted, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was entombed and that he has been roused the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 4. Number one, Christ died for our sins. Number two, he was entombed. And three, he has been roused the third day. To explain why Mr. and Mrs. Born Again will not be snatched away, please read Christianity is the most dangerous religion in the world and worshiping demons. I know I've gone over all this before, but one cannot hear about the great secret enough times how it helps us, the current generation of believers, to get through these tough times. Why? Because I believe that those of us in the current generation of believers are the ones who will not die. Instead, we'll be snatched away to meet our Lord and the Savior Christ Jesus in the air. Remember in verse... Thessalonians 5 9 Paul explains that God did not appoint us to indignation but to be procuring of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ and that looming tribulation is the, the indignation to end all indignations us believers have a special salvation thank God for that I mean thank God for that do you real do you as a believer if you are truly understand the awesomeness of God choosing us beforehand then calling us at his appointed time to believe Paul's evangel it's beyond words so I'll shut up <laughs> 